Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel with Trail and Mountain, and today I have a brand new headlight from a company called Nog. Here's their website right here. Check these guys out. These guys are making some pretty cool stuff and have been doing so for a very long time. Really unique products uh, for this company. So, this is a headlamp. It's from, as I said, Nog. This is the Bilby. As I said, 400 lumens. So, this headlamp has a 105 hour max runtime on low, obviously. 75 meter range, USB rechargeable, six light modes. It's also IP67 waterproof rated. It's dimmable, has boost mode, and it has a uh, red LED as well. So lots of stuff built into this guy right here. So I'm gonna get this thing unboxed uh, on the table behind me, show you what it comes with and why you should potentially wanna buy one of these for yourself. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so here you go. Here's the Bilby 400. There's all your modes here you have boost at 400 boost low at 240 lumens ambient is 200 lumens ambient low is 48 lumens the spot is 200 lumens the red led is 7 lumens and the reading light is 10 lumens and the reading light is more of like a um like a warm led it's not a bright white two-year warranty designed by nog in melbourne australia and it is dimmable so let's see what we got First things first, you do have your little um, quick start guide. It opens up with all kinds of information here. Um, my first impression on opening up the owner's manual here, or the quick start guide rather, is that it's really, really small. The text is very small, and if you have trouble seeing, it might be difficult to read it. But for the most part, if you have good eyesight, it's not that bad. That was just something I just picked out. And here is the Nog headlamp. So if you notice the front, there's three lights. There's the red LED, and then the bottom here is your, that's your reading LED. So on the bot on the front here, this is uh, aluminum. So the body here is a silicone, and it's stretchy. It does have a little toggle here at the end, so you can adjust this thing, make it tighter or looser, depending on your head size. On the back, you have this great little foam pad and then how you separate this thing is basically you just kind of open this up like this and this whole thing unit comes out of the silicone and then here's your headlamp body that's your USB right there so you would just plug that into a USB um, like charger and it's right here just like so and then if you can see the LEDs right here, there's three are lit and one is flashing, means that it says 75%. I'll turn my light down so you can kind of see that a little bit better. So, but there you go. So that's how you would charge it. Now, something I've noticed that for me, this right here is potential that it could break. It's not that big a deal, but if you're not gentle enough with it, this thing could snap off and then the headlamp is pretty much useless. Um, it's very well designed though, you know, nog written on it. You have two buttons on the top, so what you would do is you would push down, because it's in lockout mode right now, which you can lock this thing and unlock it, obviously, so it doesn't... Um, so the battery doesn't die in your in your pack or whatever in case it accidentally gets bumped. So now it's locked, red light flashes, push and hold it again for five seconds, and then the white light will light up, now it's on. Push it once, turns on the middle light, which is your spot. There's your, um, your wide beam, and then that's your low beam. And then you have reading, which is more of a warm light. So I'm going to turn my lamp off again, just so you can kind of see this a little bit better so there's your warm light and it is dimmable and then the right button switches between the red your spot your wide and your low and if you double tap it it goes into full-on turbo mode or boost mode double tap it again double tap the right uh, the left button and it goes into the other mode And then you just kind of cycle through 
Now once it's in this mode, you hit the left button and it goes through the different levels. So if you hold down the right button, like if it's on your head, it's the right button, but in this case it's the left. Push and hold it and it'll cycle through and then it'll turn off. The left button, which in this case is the right button, but if you're looking at it like if it's on your head, this button just checks battery uh, battery level and you push it for like a half second and turn it on. And you can cycle through the different light output modes. That. And then the other button goes through the levels. Hold it down and it turns on the outside and inside uh, lights, or both outside lights rather. And then you push it again and hold it, and it'll cycle through again. And then there's your turbo. That's your. I mean, that's bright. Or your boost mode. So there's a lot of features built into this light that I really like. Um, I do like the the little foam on the back here, so that's nice and soft on the forehead. I like the silicone. Uh, strap number one, it's indestructible. Number two, it's stretchy and you could adjust it. Number three, it is weatherproof. Um, it won't lose its elasticity. Uh, you could freeze this thing. You can. It's submergible. You can get it wet. Doesn't matter. Plus, it's you know odor resistant too. Like uh, food grade silicone or whatever is odor resistant, so it won't you know build mold or anything like that. Like some you know straps could. But yeah, when you're done with it, you basically get your light. You get it in the little socket right here. Let me just turn this thing off. Push both buttons, it turns it off. You just kind of put it in there, just like so, and then that's it. You're done. There's your Nog Bilby. You two have access to the nice two buttons up top. So essentially how you get this thing on, you just got to get it locked in place and once you find the right size, then you're good. Now, while it's on, it's really comfortable. Um, I'm going to make it a little bit looser. Um, now there is no tilt feature to this lamp, it's just basically, it is what it is, but the little reading lamp right here on the bottom is excellent. So. Um, I did notice, I just recently got a haircut, but I did notice that when my hair was a little longer, it kind of pulls the hair a little bit because of the silicone. It's a little sticky, especially for hair. But for the most part, this is a really nice light. It's easy to put on and off. Hit the right button for like a half second, and then just cycle through. There's your turbo mode. back to spot and just cycle through the different light output modes and that's your dimmer and then push both buttons and it turns it off super easy simple um, I do like it it's only about 90 grams to total so it's not terribly heavy uh, and it's USB rechargeable. The only downside to it is the way that USB is connected. I would rather have seen a port that you can plug a cable into, but I understand that their mindset behind it was less to bring. Like, you don't really need to bring a cable and the battery. You can just actually just plug this directly into the battery and charge it. So, great job. I mean, the Bilby is super cool. Um, we're going to get it outside here in a minute, and I'll show you how bright this thing gets on the trail. All right, so I'm out with the Nog Bilby uh, headlamp on my head obviously and I'm on this little uh, trail by my house so I'm just gonna want to show you how bright this thing gets as uh, as you hike down the trail here it's a pretty comfortable headlamp um, I'm not really sure I like the silicone strap because it kind of you know if your hair is a little longer it might pull on your hair a little bit which is kind of annoying but for the most part it's pretty comfortable so I'm gonna flip it a uh, flip the camera around just so you can see what I'm doing so this is I want to say this is on low. That's low. There's high. So. There's the other. 
another this kind of puts things more further down flip it around just so you can see so there's two buttons this button on the left button on the right i just hit the button on the right once and then it shifts it down to like this is like a reading light so if you um if you're looking at a map or if you're looking at something that you don't need a bunch of light for this is a great way i like it, it has this little light this little reading light underneath then hit it again goes into red or i'm sorry that's low and then there's your red so it really has pretty much something for everybody and you hit it back again there there's your spot more of a flood you're reading low and then red and then you hit the left button and it cycles through the different high to low so there's your high medium low this thing's pretty bright though Bright headlight. So another cool feature about the Nog Bilby is that they have uh, what they call Mode Maker. It's basically a app that you would download on Nog's website, and you would take the Bilby, plug it into your computer, and you can customize the buttons and the settings and all kinds of stuff. So I downloaded the app. I'm going to mess with that over the next couple weeks, and I may or may not shoot a video about it, but I wanted to at least mention it in this video that there's something cool that's outside of this that you can actually customize it, which I think is great. So another cool feature of the uh, of the Nog Bilby. All right, guys, so that's my review of the Bilby from Nog. Now, here's Nog's website one more time right here. Check these guys out. These guys are making a lot of cool stuff, and they have been doing so for a very long time. As I said, they're, they're based out of Melbourne, Australia. They've been making some really cool stuff. I've reviewed quite a few of their uh, their lights before, and uh, this is this is really cool lamp. I do like it. I may take this with me to uh, Cespi. I do have a trip coming up here in a little in a little while. Uh, go check out some bighorn sheep and go sit in a hot tub and drink some uh, drink some scotch and have a cigar. So so if you like my review and found it informative, you have some questions that maybe got answered and I built some value in this product for you and you wanted to buy one of these, I'll leave a link down in the description box down below where you can make your purchase. So when you use that link, it helps support my YouTube channel and I really appreciate all the help, love, and support you guys give me over the last. 10 years now it's been a while so thank you guys i really appreciate each and every one of you guys for chiming in with your questions and comments subscribing watching my videos and spending your valuable time with me i appreciate it more than you know so thank you again from the bottom of my heart i appreciate it if you guys have any questions or comments about the nog bilby i'd love to hear what you guys have to say make sure you leave those down in my comment section down below and i will get back to you as quickly as i can also too please like please share and please subscribe really means a lot when people subscribe to my channel, like what I have to say about the gear that I'm testing. So hit that bell icon too when you hit subscribe. And uh, you'll get notified every time I post a new video, which is usually weekly, sometimes a couple videos a week. So thanks again for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Please keep checking back for more gear reviews, outdoor-related hodgepodge, tech and camera reviews, gear talk, and giveaways. Take care, guys. Get outdoors. We'll see you in the next video.